Okay, y'all, so I'm about to do a video on how to clean your hat. I haven't tried it before. I did watch a YouTube and saw a few videos. So we about to see. This is my most worn hat. So as you can see, it has a lot of makeup in there. So what they used was 70% alcohol. And we about to see what happened. I'm gonna spray it and let it sit because the folks on them videos look like they had brand new things. And these, this, these things are his from way, way back. So I sprayed it. Y'all can see it's starting to get extra wet in there. So I'm gonna let it sit for a second and we're gonna come back. I don't think I waited long enough, but let's see because I'm, I'm too thirsty. For the sake of this video, just a little tutorial. I am using uh um uh, oh toothbrush. If it works, hey, we can move on from there. But I had to find a more permanent solution to what I was gonna do about these hats, baby, because I just thought I was gonna be ordering hats for the rest of my life. Or just wearing them caught back. You can see this is starting to get makeup on it so it is working it is actually getting lighter um because of the amount of makeup that was on here and how old it was i don't know how many times i gotta dry but there is already some differences going on it did say rub it lightly but like i said this is one of those hats um where i was at a point of throwing it out anyway so we just about to see how it turned out overall um but i'm gonna keep trying you don't you don't want to rub it too hard i guess um like the video was saying you don't want the material to start or whatever looking all ate up Okay, but the first round is a major difference. It's lighter already from that caked upness. And I actually came in my content creation room. Um, I was like, you know what? I'm about to see what I can get done today. Change some things around. Bring my desk in here and some other things. So, I'm going to hit it again. And use a little toothbrush while it's kind of wet. again this one of the hats that we don't care about so we just want to see if the process works so <clears throat> that's what we are doing and it also says that you wouldn't want to put it in a dryer or anything you are going to want to let this air dry so um that's what we'll be doing as well
this one. I'm gonna say it again, y'all. Um, I'm kind of thirsty for the results, but we're gonna let this one sit. Um, and then I'm gonna have to apparently re up on my alcohol, which I got a big bottle. I ain't worried about that either. Um, I got this. My sister actually, my sister gave me this one from Publix, the grocery store. I believe she said it was like five bucks, maybe three to five bucks or so. Um, but this is what we use for our hands in public and our face, um, you know, with everything going on with COVID or whatever. We just spray alcohol in our face and on our hands. So that's where I got this from. And then I just constantly refill it with the same 70% alcohol or um, give me another bottle whenever I'm on that side of town. So grab another one. So like I said, we're going to let this one sit. And we'll be back. Okay, so I think I just learned why you were supposed to do it softly because I am, I did tear up the hat a little bit. But not necessarily tear it up, but it must be too much alcohol. I don't know if y'all can see that, but now it's like super soggy in here, whatever type of material that it is made from. But um, we, we is getting there, like it's getting super super clean but um i'm not gonna do it anymore because um i think i done tapped out on the number of tries doing it so hard so if, you, if i had to give you any word of advice don't do it hard just do it soft like i had heard in the first place but yeah do it soft but alcohol does work and that was probably caked up makeup since maybe last year or so because I was just like, man, I don't want to throw my hats away. I just got them, blah, 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 whatever, however. So I wasn't wearing them as much. But I guess instead of wearing it all the way down, I'll just have to wear it halfway back like the girls do. Like the makeup be down here, you know, and they push it back off the forehead. But I feel like it's not as secure, you know what I'm saying? If I be shouting in church, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's over with. So, I don't think I'm going to try that way. Um, I think I'm probably going to put something there to protect it from the makeup. If not, as soon as I get home, I'm going to spread it with the alcohol and let it sit. And that's that. So, it works. Alcohol cleans makeup out your hats, y'all. <laughs> 